Hello, this is Rip with IMSI Design, and today I'm going to be taking a look at modifying two-dimensional geometry. In many cases, line segments need to be shorter, corners need to be rounded, or objects need to be split. The two-dimensional modification tools do just that. Let's take a look at the most commonly used. The trim tool uses objects as cutting edges to delete parts of other objects. This operation is referred to as a trim. To use the trim tool, first select the object you would like to use as a cutting edge, then select the portion of the other object you would like to be deleted. The shrink extend tool trims or extends a line so it meets another object. First select the line you would like to shrink or extend by clicking near the end point you want to move. Next select the object you would like the line to meet. The multi shrink extend trims or lengthens a group of lines so they meet another object. Select two points to draw a temporary fence that passes over all the lines you want to shrink or extend. Be sure the fence intersects each line closest to the endpoints you want to move. The endpoints that will move are indicated by small squares. Now select the object that the lines are to meet. The endpoints of the lines now meet the selected object. The Meet Two Lines tool will either trim or extend two lines, double lines, walls, or arcs so they will meet in a corner. The tool is used by selecting the two objects you would like to meet, keeping in mind that if an object is going to be trimmed, you will want to select it by clicking the part of the object you want to keep. The Fillet tool creates an arc between two line segments and will trim or extend those segments as needed. The line segments can also be part of an object. You can adjust the radius of a fillet in the inspector bar. Similar to the fillet, the chamfer tool connects two lines with a beveled corner. Distances and angles can be entered into the inspector bar before the line segments are selected. Single objects can be divided into several objects by using the split tool. First select the object, then mark where you would like it to split. A red X will temporarily mark this point. Now the objects are divided. That will conclude today's demo. For more great videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.